This week's plenary tip, small parts. Actors say there are no small parts, only small actors. The truth is, there are small parts if the playwright says so. So a couple months ago, I saw a play, The Columnist, on Broadway. In that play, and it's, it's, it's an okay play, John Lithgow was great, but in that play, there's a character that shows up at, in the second act. Uh, he comes on stage, John Lithgow says a line to him, and then that's it. Doesn't have any lines, doesn't do anything else in the play. He's just there to walk on, have a line said to him for a punchline, and then he's gone. Period. And this guy got paid to be on Broadway. It's a small part that you really didn't need in the overall context of the play, and it's, you know, additional cost for the producer. In, like, community and high school productions, there's the joke part of the spear holder. A guy who's supposed to be there to give realism to the scene, but doesn't have any lines and doesn't really do anything. The spear holder character are more common in plays before the 1950s, but uh, these days, you really need to write plays where you don't need those small parts, you know? In the play, you can't take it with you. There are three G-men who show up at the end of the second act, and um, they're not in any other play, and they each get, like, one line each. And you know what? Those are more actors you have to pay, and this is from a producer standpoint. And if you could find a way to cut them or organize it so that those actors can be doubled into other parts, sure, great, go ahead. But for the sake of productions and getting produced, you have to make every part important. I mean, that's just a sad fact. Sure, would it help to have an extra hand in there to maybe manipulate props if it's a complicated show like that? Sure, fine. But they have to have some kind of relevance, you know? Actors are trained to make the best out of whatever part they're given. Um, I honestly think that's becoming an outdated frame of mind. It works in musicals. I mean, you're in the ensemble, you have to create a character uh, based on nothing. But if in a play, um, yeah, you can't have that spear holder character. You can't have a character that's, you know, only semi-relevant to the plot. They all have to be relevant. This is just the fact of how things are. I bring this up because this week I went into rehearsals for The King and I. Now, um, I'm basically a spear holder. This is fact. I'm a guard, and that's the extent of my part. Um, I have a grand total of 24 measures to memorize. Yeah, I know. Extensive, right? On my way in to the show rehearsal, the first rehearsal of being in The King and I, I gotta be honest, it's kind of nice to go to a rehearsal where, one, I didn't write it, and two, my level of responsibility isn't that high. I'm in the ensemble, I memorize a few whole notes, and I walk on and off stage sometimes. That, that's about the entirety of my part, as far as I'm aware. You know, I'm enjoying it in a way. I'm not at the rehearsals that often. You know, I had, what, one rehearsal this week? You know, and I was still learning music, and I was out of there in an hour. Uh, next week, I have uh, three days where I'm in rehearsal, and a grand total of five hours. Week after that, not that much rehearsal, and week after that, we go into tech. It's the easiest credit you could ever get. And you wonder if it's worth your time, and I don't know if it's worth my time or not. I'm just enjoying it as it goes, and, you know, we'll see what happens. One of the other things I had to do was I had to do a technical rehearsal for Sketchfest. My group, Stuff Films, or Stuff, I believe we're called now, is in Sketchfest for performing next Thursday. And, um, I had to go down there and do the tech stuff. Rehearsal for Sketchfest. How are you doing, Josh? Say hello. I'm doing terribly. <laughs> I can't get my lines right while I'm on these cues. Hi. Fun times. We froze. <laughs> Nothing I wrote is in the performance. I'm not performing. I'm just the guy in the tech booth hitting the buttons and changing the lights and hitting the cues. I mean, it's interesting being on the outside of things, you know? The last couple of months, I've been focused on producing shows. My show is next, my show is next, and getting that done, and marketing, and getting an audience, and doing sets, and des designing things, and, you know, doing rewrites. And right now, I'm in a place where I don't have to do any of that. You know, I'm still involved in shows, I'm still doing performance stuff, but I'm really taking a back seat. And, and I made this about small parts, because, you know, I'm just a small part of everything going on, but that doesn't mean I'm not vital to it. Saying there are not small parts, small people. There are small parts, but you know what? A watch has a lot of small parts, and every one of them is needed to work. But the rule applies to productions. There are lots of small parts in production you need. If you're writing the script and there are small parts in the script, cut those parts. That's the bottom line. So next week is Sketchfest, and um, I'll see you then, interwebs.